Blackstone Audio presents Midnight City, a Conquered Earth novel by J. Barton Mitchell. This book is read by Kirby Hayborn. For Stephanie Gassandi Little, manager, confidant, collaborator, and friend. This is your first book, too. To love means loving the unlovable. To forgive means pardoning the unpardonable. Faith means believing the unbelievable. Hope means hoping when everything seems hopeless. G.K. Chesterton Part 1 Conquered Earth Chapter 1 Vultures Right about then, it became official. Holt Hawkins was having a bad day. Hey, you're right! One of the kids shouted, reaching for him underneath the crumpled old truck. There is someone under here! The kids yanked him out from under the ruined vehicle and slammed him hard against its rusted door. They were younger than Holt, but not by much. Seventeen or eighteen, he guessed, looking at the black vein-like growths crawling through their eyes, the tell-tell sign of the tone. It had a firm hold on them now. It meant their time was running out. Holt sized them up quickly. They were shorter and thinner, weaker, less quick, probably. But those things mattered a lot less when you had guns or knives, and these kids had both. Holt had left his with Max, near the tree line, not wanting to risk the weight on the precarious bridge, a decision he was quickly coming to regret. The six kids holding him had small tattoos on their right wrists. The one with his forearm pinning Holt to the door sported a scorpion. Two more, knives at the ready, had a coiled snake and a heart, respectively. The wrist tattoos were bad news. It meant these kids were in the menagerie, and the situation had just gotten a whole lot worse. Then again, Holt thought, maybe they wouldn't recognize him. He glanced at the single fingerless glove he always wore in his right hand. Hey, this guy's a heedless. Look at his eyes, one of them pointed out bitterly. They were right. Holt was heedless. One of the rare few on the planet the tone didn't affect. His eyes... <laughs>